You are watching Business Heroine TV for the entrepreneur who says she will and does. Join the Business Heroine community today at businessheroinemagazine.com. And now, tune into the show. Hi and welcome. I'm Ann Perry, founder of Business Heroine, and today we have a very special guest. I can't wait for you to meet Erica Watson. Mm. Now, Erica is She's your sidekick to personal freedom, being loved, seen, and heard for who, you, for who you truly are, which I just love that. She's the creator of the LEAP formula, sacred strut coaching, how awesome, and an access consciousness bars practitioner and trainer. And Erica, it's really through her authentic sharing and her gifts and her unconditional love that Erica uh, empowers women and men to release any limitations and confidently connect to their awareness, purpose, self-love, and self-expression to really embody their personal divinity and leadership. It's really awesome work that she does. And what I love about Erica too is she just she really knows that every person is capable of creating their ultimate freedom love, fulfillment, and success in every area of life possible. And that's work and health, health and well, sorry, work and wealth, health and well-being, relationships and love, regardless of your past. So believing that we're ultimately connected, Erica plays on both the individual and community levels as she serves in the awakening of the planet. She is truly a galaxy shifter. Thank you so much for joining us, Erica. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here and all the business heroines. It's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I'm just going to throw in another little personal um, snippet about Erica before we jump into questions, which there are so many. I can't wait to dive in. Mm -hmm. But Erica, I really see as a catalyst for business heroine existing because mm -hmm. it was when this whole concept was emerging, I asked myself, who do I know? who just to reach out to. I don't even know if I had a strong question. It was just who, who can I reach out to to support me in birthing this um, project? And, I, and Erica Watson, that was the name that popped in my head. And so <laughs> I reached out to Erica and she made some connections and it was just very quickly snowballed and built this momentum. So thank you, Erica, for everything that you have done for Business Heroine Magazine. Mm, thank you. It's been such a awesome just journey with you over the past two years now that we've known each other yeah uh, to watch the unfolding of your purpose and mm. um how you are creatively you know expressing yourself and helping others to do the same it's just it's awesome so I'm mm. honored thanks <laughs> thank you yeah okay so I want to jump in with really your story and your business is called loved seen heard which is so <laughs> beautiful what is really the essence of that, and what is what is your story as far as how that emerged? Yeah, um, I was thinking about that because I, I don't get asked that question a lot, and um, ultimately, while I've been sitting here waiting for the answer to come through, was that it is really about that unique essence of you, that divinity, that that soul that wants to express itself um, here on Earth, so that it is being loved, seen, and heard on the planet. Um, regardless of everything that we think that it should be or the judgments or the fears, it's really about how do we help you emerge. Mm -hmm. um, but when I came up with that business name, I was actually working for Max Simon uh, and, and, and underneath him in his company. And I felt like I had a calling that was different. And I was in this support role and I felt really like I was in some ways serving my purpose, but not the whole way. And I had this just ache inside of me because there was something about me that wasn't being loved, seen, and heard. And as I sat with, okay, like what, what am I really here to do? What has been my, my gift? How, what do I help others to feel when I'm in their presence? And it was exactly that. It was that being able to be present, being able to be a witness to everything that someone was without judgment and really help them feel safe enough to be loved, seen, and heard so that they could continue to expand or express whatever it is that they were desiring. That is so beautiful. And I can totally relate to you. And I'm guessing a lot of the heroines tuning in here 
um, have experienced that too, you know, for, for you being in a support role, but really know, knowing that that wasn't the space for you. And I went through the same thing. I was in support roles for so long and it's like, it, it's just not it. It's like, there's this ache inside. There has to be more. And I yeah. love, love the concept of loved, seen and heard. And what's amazing about that to me is it so speaks to your essence, like, and what you just shared and how it's, it's almost like a a calling for your work on the planet. And within that, Mm -hmm. what's been interesting to witness alongside you is your business has evolved over the um, couple years that we've known each other and, and your business focus has recently changed. And Mm -hmm. I really want to talk about this because as entrepreneurs, we're taught so much focus and stick to it and, and, you know, stay in this zone. And yet at the same time, we're these creative evolving beings. We have expanding ideas. Um, and sometimes something wants to shift and there can sometimes be some weird shame. Yeah. Yeah. So what, tell us about your journey with that. Was it difficult to switch niches? Um, Oh, tell us about what your business is now and, and how that shifted and, and just the journey of shifting. Yeah. So now I'm really um, focused on helping entrepreneurs or men and women that feel stuck in their lives, um, overcoming some of the fears, the limitations, the worries, stresses, addictions, things like that, that that help, they're feeling held back in some way and they know they want more in their life Mm -hmm. and they don't know how to get there. And right now I'm focused on um, something that I actually channeled called the LEAP formula and it stands for listening, expressing, acting, progressing. And um, it's my way of really helping people to connect to their inner guidance system, their heart wisdom, um, in order to have that faith that when they follow um, in alignment to what is calling them forward, that they can trust that the outcome is going to be more beautiful, more expansive, more magical than they even imagined it to be. Mm. And in the very beginning, I was focused when we first met on um, affiliate partnerships and helping entrepreneurs uh, to create relationships that would help bring their message out into the world. Mm -hmm. And when I was thinking about the relatedness, you know, for me to teach what I'm teaching now, I really had to go through some of my own personal transformations and really walk through some fires and commitments with myself that would allow me to really be a leader in this, this area. Um, And before, what I had started out, you know, really what was my calling was how do people feel comfortable in owning their value, really knowing that their message is important? How do they feel seen with others and ask for that support? And so in some ways, the essence of both companies was the same. It was to what is calling you forward? How do you bring it out into the world? How do you know that you're going to be supported and safe in who you are? Um, but what shifted for me as I, uh, you know, moved through my journey was really the desire to work more on the soul level, the personal level, um, the developmental and transformational level than just staying in business. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how, as I deepened in myself and my calling and had more experience, I was able to evolve with my purpose. Oh, I love it. I mean, it's it's amazing how your business name fits both of those, <laughs> you know, loved, seen, heard, how that's been mm-hmm. the thread through all of it, because it's more than a business name. It's a, it is your work. It's like this gift that you're bringing. It's your, you know, your mission really. And so I love that. So totally different businesses going from affiliate marketing to doing soul work with people to help them move through barriers and be expressed in the world and, and, you know, have this magical life beyond what they ever imagined. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was at times, um, you know, I struggled for a little bit uh, whenever I would bump up against my own judgment or, Mm -hmm. you know, having to start in some ways over, you know, halfway through the year or, you know, I joined a company and then left the company. And so I really lost a lot of my list. And, you know, one of the things that can come up when we're, you know, expanding our businesses again is going through those fires with other people about, well, what is your list size? And, you know, people wanting to only promote you or share your work according to what you've already built. So there can be frustrations around that when I switched my niche or there was, you know, when I wanted to be farther along than what I was. So I was, you know, having an impatience or whatnot. And then, You know, what the beautiful thing is, I just go back to my own formula that came through, and I'm like, okay, just relax. Everything's great. It's all unfolding. You're enjoying the journey. 
And if I'm stuck in worry, then I'm missing everything else that's going on in, in the present and I'm taking the joy out of that. So mm. how do I just stay present with what is and focused on um, expanding what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah, I love that. So, and I want to hear so much more about Leap, but I want to I wanna just um, kind of close up this topic because yeah. I know that there are so many um, heroines out there who are who are tuning into this interview where it's like, Maybe they're feeling pulled to change their current business trajectory, or maybe there's a little, it's, you know, like you mentioned, um, fear, it's like fear or having to start over or even shame for being like, oh, I'm a scattered brain entrepreneur or whatever, all those judgments we have on ourselves when we change path and feeling like, oh my gosh, am I losing this thing that I put all this time into and now I'm losing it because I'm shifting gears. What advice would you have for somebody who's in that situation right now? Um, to get really just centered in themselves and to ask themselves the questions, whose fears are they? You know, mm -hmm. are, are these worries that we were taught by someone else, by other coaches, by other entrepreneurs? You know, is it um, a, the fear of my ego from really moving into this other space? Or what's really right for me? What, what does my heart want to do more than anything? Because when you follow your heart, you know, you're going to be supported so much more than... Um, when you're just living in fear and that's, that, that slow, like I know for me that when you don't follow your heart, the kind of slow suffering or kind of painful dying of your soul becomes unbearable. And so yeah. it's much better just to deal with whatever outside circumstances you think you have to deal with. And honestly, when I switched, um, focus, I was, I found the most supportive partners that people that said to me, you know what? I still want to promote you because I still believe in what you're doing and what you have to offer still supports my community or I'll find another way to support you. So all those fears I had about having to rebuild relationships and connections and finding new niches, it was just an idea. And so I'm so glad that I didn't live into that idea because now I lived into a whole other reality and I was just met with even more trust and support um, than, than I had thought. So. Mm. That's yeah. wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I want to hear about LEAP. You created this acronym LEAP, L-E-A-P, as a way to support your clients. And so tell us what that is again, um, how you came up with it, and what it's all about. Yeah. So when I left um, Soul Therapy International last January or February, um, you know, I was kind of like, okay, I'd started my business with a partnership role or niche, and then I went into soul therapy, which was much more in alignment with what I was doing, but not quite there just yet because my authentic voice can come through. Um, I left and I was like, okay, I'm just going to give myself the space to really see what wants to come through because I don't want to just keep hopping and I don't want to go back just to the partnership stuff because it's safe. Like, I really want to see what does God have for me to do? And so that summer, I started walking, which is where Sacred Strut came out. Um, I love that, by the way. That's so cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I started walking an hour every night, and it just became this mm -hmm. amazing meditative space for me to be with gratitude, to be with, you know, nature, to be with reflections of my day, to be processing some of the thoughts and things that I wanted, and to discharge the ones that didn't feel good, to really embody the ones that did. And through those walks and then through journaling, as I would write my reflections, I came up with what came through was um, listen, express, align, progress. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that stands for leap. Yeah. And I was just kind of laughing because, you know, it can feel like a leap of faith each time we're going to come to that upper limit or we're going to move beyond to the next point. And so taking that leap to know that you're going to be held that whole way, it just it, it felt very right and it feels very easy for me to share with people and my clients love it. They say they go through the formula a lot whenever they have something come up. They're like, okay, I'm, just, I'm leaping, you know, and they go through um, the different letters. But it really stands for how to listen to your soul's desires to create your ideal life um, by learning to connect with your heart wisdom, your inner guidance system, and your divine power. How to express your authentic self with confidence and ease in all areas of your life. Mm -hmm. Um, how to align your actions to achieve the impact, success, health, and relationships you dream of. And then how to progress with the unfolding of your truth 
and the expansive possibilities as you co-create with the universe over and over again. Because yeah. really, we are infinite beings living these lifetimes, and we are ever expanding. So we're going to continue to be leaping again and again and again. And how do we just stay in the joy of all of it? Mm, that's so beautiful. Thank you. And you say yeah, another one of your phrases is leap to rise, right? Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, because I really, I do believe, you know, it, that we're, it's almost like we're rising, you know, we're not going to fall. And it, it really wanted me, even when it feels like, you know, people have this idea of right or wrong or success or failure, and it's all amazing and perfect. And when you can learn to look at the things that don't feel so good and really embrace them without judgment and see the wisdom in them, you're going to rise up. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of... Um, just another way to bring in the vibration that you're constantly evolving in this place of the highest good. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I just have so much gratitude for the work that you do. It's Thank so you. profound. I love that. Um, and who do you just absolutely love to work with? What just completely lights you up? Yeah. Um, I really love the, um, a lot of times, a lot of times as women, but I've been attracting a lot of men recently too, mm. but, um, those that really know that there's like, they're powerful, they have something in them and yet they're like battling kind of with this like inner demon that they just can't seem to get past mm -hmm. and they're ready. They're ready to draw the line in the sand and they're ready to say, okay, I'm ready to put me first. I'm ready to create the sacred container and I'm ready to live the principles that I know are going to help me, um, move past the limitations and really to create this extraordinary life. So, you know, sometimes I, I've had a lot of times entrepreneurs that are, they have such a big purpose and they've, you know, bought from the experts or gurus these programs and products and yet it didn't necessarily feel aligned with them and they weren't trusting their, their own selves. And so really helping them to create that space for them to embody their confidence and their knowing and to, to be able to take what was right for them and discharge the rest, you know, because a lot of times people will take someone else's advice and they're not getting the results they want because it's not truly their authentic way of doing something. Um, definitely. I love working with people that want to add more spice to their relationships and are feeling like they're just stuck in some way or they're held back in some way because they're afraid of what their partner um, may think. And so helping people just to really embody the confidence in the soulful expression to say, you know, I, I'd like to try something more, or I want this for myself. And I'm afraid of what, you know, my family might think, or my, um, our friends might think, you know, that to me, when I have someone that knows that they are, um, almost living against the grain of their society, their community, um, the people all around them to say, no, I'm going to do something differently. That is what just really, really lights me up. I love being mm -hmm. their sidekick in that. Mm. Yeah. Because that takes so much courage. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like there's this primal fear of, um, being outcast or ostracized. Yeah, exactly. And I know, you know, for me, I think, you know, I just did a call on this about, um, you know, leap for relationships and choice and opening to freedom. Because when I looked at a lot of times the places where I got stuck in my life moving powerfully, it was when I felt that tender area due to the connections of my love for the people around me. And I knew that something needed to shift or change. So, you know, when I wanted to shift jobs or when I wanted to date someone that my family, you know, might not be their ideal person or, you know, all of that really had me um, feel almost like work through those issues of abandonment or I don't want to hurt someone or all these different, you know, ego based um, feelings that arose. And so it took me a while to really like recognize them and shift through them. And so I know that if I struggled with them, that there are, and I talk with my clients about it, there are tons of people that have these contracts and these, you know, just really strong re relatedness with their family or the people that they're with, that it, it can make it hard to create change when there are other people involved. And so mm -hmm. that's something for me that I really love working with that delicacy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that could be just even being an entrepreneur. It's not the, you know, um, <laughs> safe, secure nine to five job or, you know, it's uh, if a lot of times people who are not entrepreneurs don't get it and we can be the crazy ones and the dreamers and the, 
you know, almost for me, I used to struggle with feeling irresponsible because I wasn't wanting to get this secure corporate job or something. I just like, no, I want to, I want to like live a, a life that I create, you know, and, and it felt kind of like, I wondered myself if I'm a dreamer, but then also you need someone who can help you navigate, like you said, those relationships or those inner judgments, all of that. Um, cause it's not for the faint of heart being on this entrepreneurship journey. Yeah. And a lot of times people, they, they, they'll have a lot of shame about their journey because they were trying to fit into a construct that wasn't them. Like I know for me, you know, having a corporate job, I never had a corporate job. The nine to fives, I eventually would get fired <laughs> because I, you know, they weren't the right fit, but I, um, didn't know how to listen to what I really needed at the time. And so, you know, unless you have the awareness of how to look at these experiences in your life and see like, oh, this is just really, you know, God co-creating with me to, to help me in living out my purpose, then you can get in a lot of downward spiral and, and continue not to move forward because you're thinking there's something wrong with me. Mm-hmm. So if there were one thing, one action or thing that we can do today to help us, um, you know, if there's an area that we're feeling stuck in um, or doubtful around or hitting one of those upper limits, like you said, what's one, what, where can we start? What's one thing we can do today to start to unlodge that and free ourselves? Yeah. I would just take a moment to close your eyes and sit with your intention and to breathe that intention into your heart space and just really feel love and that connection to your divine, um, you know, God, the universe, whatnot, and feel his support as you make that commitment to step forward with what it is you truly love and let that just kind of burn away any of the doubt and, and mm. to go for it. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah. So how can our heroines get more of you? I know that there are going to be people saying, so I, I have want Erica. Tell us how. <laughs> There's two ways. Um, uh, one is they can uh, receive a free gift called Reclaim, Reclaim Your Vision, Your Voice, Your Value. Mm -hmm. And that's at loveseenher.com forward slash uh, gift. Okay. Or they could email me at erica at loveseenher.com. And they can just put like business heroine um, in the subject line. And they could schedule a complimentary 20-minute sacred strut coaching call with me to see mm -hmm how they can get back into alignment with what they're truly wanting. Mm, that sounds awesome. And we'll make sure that we have those links all in the article. So if you didn't catch that or didn't, weren't sure how to spell anything, we'll make sure you have that. Um, so that's awesome. So um, a 20 minute sacred strut session, that is very generous. Thank you. And I know that that was something that um, you're sharing just with the business heroines who are tuning in here. So thank you for that. And, um, um, yeah, I really highly recommend you who is watching this video or listening to this um, audio to take advantage of that. Erica, I can say from my heart, is just, she's one of the most caring, loving people um, on the planet, and she mm -hmm. really is here to support us all in rising together. Um, so take advantage of that. Thank you so much, Thank Erica. You. Thank you. I always love being with you. Um, all right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you, Erica, again so much for joining, and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>